LGBTQ plus advocates in our community are criticizing proposed changes to the workplace. We told you last month about a state measure that would restrict the use of personal pronouns in the workplace. Channel 9 Sam Martello explains why several Central Florida organizations call it a threat. Local LGBTQ leaders spoke here at the center this morning. The center serves as a pillar for the LGBTQ community. They say they are condemning this new proposed bill. The Central Florida LGBTQ plus community is speaking out against a proposed state house bill titled Gender Identity Employment Practices. Florida State Representative Ryan Chamberlain introduced the bill in November. As of right now, this bill has no Senate sponsor. We should keep it that way because it's terrible for people. It's bad for business, which means it's bad for all Floridians. This proposed bill states it would prohibit employees and contractors of certain employers from being required to use, from providing and from being asked to provide certain titles and pronouns. The bill reads, quote, it is the policy of the state that a person's sex is an immutable biological trait and that it is false to ascribe to a person a pronoun that does not correspond to such person's sex. Carlos Guillermo Smith spoke out on behalf of Equality Florida and says this shouldn't be allowed in the workplace. The legislation targets the rights of transgender workers and goes far beyond just the regulation of pronouns to impose unprecedented political control. The bill also states it would make it an unlawful employment practice for nonprofit organizations who receive funding from the state to require certain training, instruction, or activity regarding sexual orientation, gender identity, or gender expression. Organizations like the center exist and are strong. We need organizations and nonprofits in Florida to be strong and to fight back because we give back so much to our community. The next Florida legislative session begins in January, and if this bill passes, it would go into effect on July 1st, 2024. In Orlando, San Martello, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.